In his two stints with the Charlotte Hornets between 2011 to 2015 and 2018 to 2021, center Bismack Biombo has a vivid story that highlighted team owner Michael Jordan's competitive spirit even after he had called time on his legendary career. He may be with the Phoenix Suns now, but Biombo has fond memories during his time as a Hornet, and one of them was Jordan not missing a chance to take them on even in his 50s. Speaking to the media ahead of the Suns' clash against the Hornets on January 24, 2023, the center shared a story of how Jordan decimated Charlotte players during practice. Mike is Mike, man, Biombo said. I've seen him play one-on-one -on -one with players after the games, and one by one was taking them out. So this was probably I think seven, eight years ago. He would come into practice and just play one-on-one -on -one with players and just kill them, 100%. I didn't think he could move like that. He also recalled the time when someone challenged him during the pandemic in 2020, and true to his self, Jordan just asked for a couple of months to get into shape so he could be ready for a one-on-one. -on -one. It may seem hilarious, but for those who know the Chicago Bulls star and has watched The Last Dance, the man has the tendency to take things personally, and he would be there to live up to the challenge. He might be 59 now, and minus those seven years, he would be 52 and, despite the age, and what it takes to pip the younger players. In 2019, as Biombo guested on the Fair Game show, he talked on how Jordan impacted his career. He revealed MJ inspired him to leave Congo and try out for the NBA. And getting to spend more time with MJ and learning from MJ was like, oh my God. I mean, that's insane that you insane. were watching on VHS tapes, yeah. Michael Jordan yeah. in the Congo and now you're playing yeah. for Michael Jordan. It's crazy. It's great. So the day before the draft, I, I worked out for the Hornets, I was the Bobcats at a time, and, and Michael Jordan came to the workouts. So when I was leaving to go back to New York for the draft, I was telling my agent, this would be crazy if I have to play for this guy, you know? Mm -hmm. It would be crazy. You know how much I can learn? When I got drafted by him, I was like, oh my God. This is unbelievable. It's Michael Jordan. It's Michael Jordan. And, you know, as a kid, you dream about all this. And, and I think those were really the things that was remarkable when, when I first got here. In 2022, Steven Jackson, who played for the Bobcats in 2010, shared the same kind of story on MJ's competitiveness. Jackson detailed how a 47 years old Jordan practiced and beat the Bobcats starting lineup. The first year I got there, we got to the playoffs for the first time. And it, so MJ loved me for that alone. What? But when I first got there, it was kind of rocky. You know what I'm saying? I just got traded there. So we got to ask me by somebody. And uh, he came in the locker room after the game, just going off on us like we need to get our shit together, right? And I made some little comment or something like that. He ain't say nothing. So he came to practice the next day. Back on that shit. Mm. Yeah, y'all think y'all did something? I'm six. Oh, he's like talking about all his accolades. Get, take my shoes off. Yeah, Cause you know, he had gave me, his, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't just talking to me. He was talking because everybody had his shoes off, but he yeah. had gave me a deal and all that. Yeah. This shit kind of directed to me and Jerry Wallace because yeah. we, we the leaders of the team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he going off. Going Mike told off. you to take his fucking shoes off. Damn, damn near. You know what I'm saying? Look at all the all shit I'd have done. Y'all went to I'm just going off on his right to the point where he gets on the second team in practice. And we lose. You lying. You ain't losing 50 years old. Mike's too old. How old was Mike? Listen, listen, this was, nigga, this was in 2010. Whatever he had on, he came out there, got on, got on, uh, pushed against the guard, whoever Gerald Wallace was guarding, the three guard, kicked him out and got in that spot and played with the second team. My second team wasn't scrubs now. Oh, he, he scored a couple points and to the point where he talked so much shit afterwards, he grabbed the ball and went dunk one on the way out. Jordan's relentless approach to being the best and their unwavering determination to never give up despite the odds stacked against them made him one of the more legendary players in the NBA and one of the best in the sport the world has witnessed. Tell us in the comments, what is your favorite old Michael Jordan story? If you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share and subscribe. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels. Free Dawkins and Vintage Dawkins, and follow us on social media.